Welcome to Space Unknown. As humans, we have always been fascinated with space and the idea of interstellar travel. We grew up watching movies like Star Wars and Star Trek, where spaceships can travel faster than the speed of light, and intergalactic travel is a common occurrence. But the truth is, our current space exploration capabilities are still light years away from our science fiction dreams. There are a few technological hurdles that separate us from our interstellar travel aspirations, including artificial gravity, transporters, and universal translators. But the one constant among all our visions of the future is the ability to travel very quickly through space, hopping between planets and solar systems in relatively small amounts of time, measured in hours or days, as opposed to years and centuries. Here in the reality of the 21st century, it still takes a few days just to get a heavy payload to our own moon around eight months to our neighboring planet Mars, and a multi-year journey to the outer planets like Jupiter and Saturn. This would make for a pretty boring science fiction series, but NASA has a plan to change all of that, and this one is rooted firmly in science fact. An experimental propulsion technology that goes back decades has finally returned to the forefront of aerospace innovation, to boldly go where no one has gone before. NASA is going nuclear. Of Ares 1X. This new announcement involves two very important branches of the United States government, both NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. The two operations are set to perform a scientific fusion dance that will result in the first ever human spacecraft to be powered by a nuclear thermal rocket engine. Now that might sound scary, but it's actually a pretty simple concept, and it is incredibly practical for spaceflight. We'll get into how this propulsion system works in a minute. But first, let's talk about why this is so important. The NASA-DARPA partnership has been named the Demonstration Rocket for Agile Cislunar Operations, DRACO, which has mercifully been shortened to DRACO. According to NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, the goal will be to develop and demonstrate advanced nuclear thermal propulsion technology as soon as 2027. With the help of this new technology, astronauts could journey to and from deep space faster than ever, a major capability to prepare for crewed missions to Mars. NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy took things to an even more fantastic level of imagination, looking even deeper into the future by saying, Draco will be a critical part of evaluating the technologies that will take us deeper into the solar system. Our intent is to lead and develop a blueprint for human exploration and sustained presence throughout the solar system. This is a very important goal, and we think that these advanced technologies will be a critical part of it. There's a bit to unpack here. Draco is expected to come online in a relatively short time frame, less than five years from now. That would imply that these agencies are pretty confident that they have this figured out, and like the name says, the first Draco spacecraft will operate in cislunar space, which is the space in between the Earth and the Moon. If this first demonstration is successful, then NASA wants to leverage nuclear thermal engines to send people all the way to Mars. Compared to the performance of a chemical rocket engine used in the vacuum of space, the nuclear thermal rocket should provide somewhere between three and five times greater efficiency. And that is going to translate to a spaceship that can travel faster, carry more payload, travel further distances, and maneuver through space much more quickly and easily than any vehicle we've used to date. As we look to the stars, the idea of interstellar travel continues to captivate us. And with the announcement of the NASA-DARPA partnership and the development of the demonstration rocket for agile cislunar operations, DRACO, it seems like we're one step closer to realizing our space exploration dreams. But the significance of DRACO goes beyond science fiction fantasies. This technology has the potential to revolutionize space travel as we know it, and usher in a new era of human exploration and discovery. With the power of a nuclear thermal rocket engine, astronauts could travel faster and farther into the depths of space than ever before. And the implications of this technology go far beyond just reaching Mars. It opens up the possibility of establishing a sustained human presence throughout the solar system and even beyond. 